As Mesa County prepares to replace its voting equipment for the upcoming election, commissioners have voted to stick with the same company. We have an exclusive interview with one of the commissioners tonight. And the decision to continue using Dominion systems did not come lightly as many residents recently gathered to voice their concerns. Our Austin SAC attended Tuesday's commissioners meeting where community members made alternate suggestions to avoid using Dominion equipment. Honor your student by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries three to zero. We have no other items on our um, agenda for today, so this meeting is adjourned. Commissioners have signed an agreement to continue Mesa County's contract with Dominion Voting Systems. The decision was announced in order to meet the Secretary of State's timeline to recertify the county's voting equipment by August 30th. Community members gathered inside and out of the old county courthouse to voice their concerns with Dominion. Make a clear, bold statement by going with hand-counted ballots and tell Dominion and their minions to get far, far away. County. We heard the people in our room yesterday. We heard them loud and clear. They do not trust Dominion right now. So we are committed to hand counting every ballot until people feel comfortable with their with the tabulation. So everybody should feel comfortable voting this fall. Whether you trust machines, whether you trust hand counts, we're going to do them both until people feel comfortable. The decision to recertify Dominion voting systems in Mesa County was not the only option commissioners had to choose from. Approximately. Um, it would cost $190,000 to break contract with Dominion. And then after that, we've received quotes from Clear Ballot, which are approximately um, a quarter of a million dollars um, to replace those machines with Clear Ballot. Um, one of the problems with going with Clear Ballot in this late stage is that it takes an incredible amount of training to get staff up to date on software. While Mesa County Commissioners continue to prepare for the upcoming November election and move forward with Dominion voting systems, some community members have one question. The question I would ask is what would Tina Peters do here? We would love to have Tina come back because those are questions we have as well. Um, there's a lot of duties that the clerk and recorder have that are beyond elections, and we would love to back, have her back here on the ground. First on the Western Slope, I'm Austin Sack, KREX 5 News. Now, according to Commissioner Scott McKinnis, Tina Peters made contact a few days ago through a third person using mainly biblical terms. Commissioners say Peters is hiding under her own admission. They want to assure her that any threats to her safety are taken seriously and security will be available. In the meantime, the next step is for Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, the county's designated election official Wayne Williams, and Sheila Reiner to all recertify Dominion voting systems. Commissioners say they want to obtain the public's trust and encourage everyone to come vote in November.